Hey, this is Mike. I'm in Whiteville, North Carolina, visiting Van Underwood Jeep, and I'm checking out a 2018 Jeep Compass at night, showing the interior and exterior lighting of this vehicle. If you're looking for the full feature video, check out my channel. Okay, so right now I have the low beams on, and all the headlights and fog lights for low and high beams are powered by halogen bulbs and a reflector housing. So you can see the low beam headlight is on there. Do you have a little little Jeep grill there in the front, which is looking pretty cool. And then you can see the fog lights are on as well. When you turn on the high beams, it turns off the fog lights. So you can see now both reflectors are now illuminated. I also turn on the turn signal so you can see where that is. It has the amber flashing light with a standard bulb. Okay, so looking at the rear of the vehicle, have the standard bulbs back here, and the turn signal is basically the flashing light there in red. It does have a side marker as well. The tag lights also illuminate the ground a little bit, so this helps out with the approach of the vehicle. I'm going to try to give you a first person look here of the headlights. So there's low beams, there's high beams. There's low, and then there's high. Okay, so let's start looking on the inside of the vehicle, starting with the cargo area. So everything is black back here, so the camera has a hard time focusing. So I put my keys right in the very center of the cargo area. And it has two light sources here and here, which is great. So that way it reduces shadows there in the center portion and just gives you a really good visibility back here. So looking on the inside of the rear door, there is one illuminated backlit button basically for your power window. The rest of the door is dark. Even with the black interior, you do have d good visibility because you have two sources of light here, one on each side. This one has the, um, the panoramic sunroof, so your lights will be on the edge there with the handles. Uh, but generally, with my eyes, the camera doesn't pick up 100%, but with my eyes, you can see in there quite well, even in the floor. In the back of the center console, you have a USB port that's backlit illuminated. Inside of the driver's door, you have quite a bit of backlit buttons for your door lock controls, power window, and side, side mirror adjustments there. Has a little light right there for the handle. So there's a little bit of a light right in here. It's kind of hard to tell because all the other light coming in, uh, but there is a little light here on the handle. Some backlit buttons here for your headlight controls. Okay, so I have the door open. Let me go ahead and shut it. Interior lights will fade out. All right, so now looking at the steering wheel, you see all the backlit buttons here. So here's your gauges. And the radio. See all the backlit buttons and the touch screen. Also down here for your climate control, your power input, and your USB and auxiliary inputs are backlit. 
Let me turn the night vision on just so we can get an idea of where we're at here in relation to other things. So you can see your shifter. There's a little storage pocket right here. There's your shifter. All right. Some backlit buttons here. Then you have some cup holders. Now this right here is pretty interesting. Camera doesn't pick it up very well. Let me turn the night vision on just so you can see what I'm looking at. So there's your cup holders. And they're not illuminated themselves, but there is a illumination coming in. I don't know if you can see that on that key tag. My hand is covering up the light. It's actually coming up, coming down from right here. So there's this little light really it's actually quite bright as far as what it accomplishes down at the bottom. It's a little LED light that illuminates. Give you some, you know, just some center lighting here in the center of the vehicle. So it's hard to tell until you really see the shadow of my hand covering it up. But that really helps out with the illumination in the vehicle, just kind of getting your bearings. Then this armrest, pretty much dark inside of that. Let me go ahead and turn the night vision on so you can see what I'm talking about. So you have the dark um, pocket there. Of course, that center light does help out a little bit with that, but not a whole lot. Glove compartment does have a very bright light in it. Let's look back up here. So we have some tap lights and some backlit illumination for your sunroof. And I really like that little ambient light there. The visors have mirrors and lights in them. Okay, so there you have it, the new generation Jeep Compass at night, showing you the interior and exterior lighting of this vehicle. So thank you for watching, thank you to Van Underwood, and I'll see you guys next time.